सिंगल फेज सीरीज एसी सर्किट सर्किट इन विच करंट एंड वोल्टेज वेरी सैनोसली आर कॉल्ड ऑल्टरनेटिव करंट और एसी करंट ऑल एसी सर्किट्स आर मेड अप ऑफ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस इंडक्टेंस एंड कैपेसिटेंस द सर्किट एलिमेंट्स आर एल सी आर कॉल्ड द सर्किट पैरामीटर्स नाउ वी विल सी द इफेक्ट ऑफ ऑल द सर्किट्स फर्स्ट वी विल सी द प्योरली रेजिस्टिव सर्किट Purely resistive circuit. Uh, this is a purely resistive circuit. There is only resistance. Uh, this is uh, V M, and uh, this is uh, the curve for I M, and this is the phase diagram. Uh, as already said, when the current uh, flowing through a pure resistance uh, resistive circuit changes. no back emf is set up therefore applied voltage has to overcome the ohmic drop ir so ir is equal to v so i is equal to v upon r which is equal to vm upon r sin omega t the current will be maximum when uh, omega t is pi by 2 uh, it will be i m uh, is equal to v m upon r and the instantaneous current value will be i is equal to i m sin omega t now we will find out the power in purely resistive circuit the power is given by voltage into current and uh, uh, here this is instantaneous voltage uh, uh, multiplied with the instantaneous current the value is vm sin omega t and i m sin omega t after solving this we we get uh, the value is coming out to be this the average of this term is uh, for positive as well as negative cycle will be zero uh, therefore power will be vm i am upon 2 and uh, this is the result power is v into i we will see the effect of purely inductive circuit the voltage applied here is vm sin omega t and the coil is of l henry then the self induced emf in the coil is minus l ti by dt since the applied voltage at every instant is equal and opposite to the self induced emf v is equal to minus el where this is el so vm sin omega t is minus of minus l di by dt so di will be vm upon l sin omega t dt integrating both the sides integrating both the sides we get i is equal to vm upon l sin omega t dt which is equal to vm omega l minus cos omega t plus a constant uh where a is a constant of integration uh, which is found to be zero from initial conditions a is found to be zero for uh, initial conditions and i is equal to minus vm omega l cos omega t which is equal to vm omega l sin omega t minus pi by 2 current will be maximum when sin omega t minus pi by 2 when this term gets to be 1 ye wala term jab 1 ho jayega to 
करंट विल बी मैक्सिमम एंड दैट विल बी वीएम बाय ओमेगा एल आईएम इज ओमेगा वीएम अपॉन ओमेगा एल एंड एक्सएल इज व्हिच इज इक्वल टू द रिएक्टेंस ऑफर्ड बाय द इंडक्टर So XL is the reactance offered by the circuit. Uh, so from the expression uh, which we have derived, it is clear that in a purely inductive uh, circuit, it is observed that current lags behind the voltage by pi by two. Okay, so power in a purely inductive circuit. power is v into i and it is given by this but uh, power for the whole uh, cycle is zero but the instantaneous power maximum instantaneous power is vm i am upon 2 i is given by dq by dt rate of change of charges uh, charge here is c Vm sine omega t. So the current is coming uh, out to be Vm one upon omega c sine omega t plus pi by two. There is a lead. Current is leading here. Im is uh, Vm upon. This is the maximum current. Uh, Vm upon one upon omega c. One upon omega c is x c, which is the reactance offered by the capacitance. power of the circuit is v into i and uh, here the voltage is vm sin omega t and i m i is i n sin omega t plus pi by 2 solving this we get this and uh, the average uh, power of the whole uh, cycle is zero so maximum instantaneous power is vm upon vm i m upon pi 2 This is the circuit of RL circuit, series circuit. This is the phasor diagram, and this is the waveform of voltage and current. In the circuit, the uh, voltage across uh, resistance is Vr, and the voltage across the inductor is uh, Vl. Uh, v is the RMS value of the applied current. Oh, sorry voltage and uh, i is the rms value of the resultant current voltage uh, the applied voltage is equal to uh, under root of vr square plus vl square vr is a drop in resistance it is ir And drop and uh, VL is the drop in the inductor. So the drop here is I into XL. Now Z is given by R square plus XL square ka root. From the uh, phase diagram, it is observed that the current uh, lags behind the applied voltage by angle phi. This is the Angle phi. So to calculate uh, phi, we uh, it is 10 phi is equal to Vl upon Vr, and phi is given by 10 inverse of Xl upon R. So the value of uh, L and R uh, it decides the phase lag. So power comes out to be this. Uh, so the average of uh, for the complete cycle of this term is comes out to be zero so power is half vm im cos phi which is equal to vm root 2 into im root 2 cos phi which is equal to v into i cos phi So this is the power of RL series circuit. RC series circuit. 
this is a circuit with the R and C. This is the phasor diagram. Here we see that Uh, current leads behind the current by angle phi uh, this is uh, the angle phi from here to here this is the angle so this is the voltage uh, it is V R square plus V C square ka root uh, solving this it is I Z where Z is root of R square plus X A square to find out uh, the difference, phase difference phi, we use 10 phi is equal to Vc upon Vr which is equal to Xc upon R which is equal to 1 over 1 omega Cr. So phi is 10 inverse 1 upon omega Cr. So the phase difference between the voltage and current uh, depends on the value of C and R. Power is given by V into I cos phi. This is the RLC circuit. R, L and C are connected in series. The drop in VR is uh, I into R, the drop in VL is I into XL and the drop in VC is I into XC. This is the phasor diagram of the circuit. This is the voltage and uh, V of the circuit. VR square plus VL square plus VC uh, VL minus VC whole square root. Uh, simplifying it we get I into Z where Z is R square plus XL minus XC whole square. So phi comes out to be tan inverse X upon R. If phi is positive voltage leads the current. If uh, XL is greater than Xc and phi is is negative. That is when the phi is negative, uh, it implies that the voltage the voltage will be behind. current if XL is less than XC.